Happening today, Columbia University is hold, holding small school based ceremonies to recognize graduating seniors. They are the replacement for that main commencement, which was canceled over security concerns in the wake of the pro Palestinian protest. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Medji joins us live now from Inwood with the very latest on this. Reagan? And graduation ceremony is well underway for Columbia University. Now, this specific graduation ceremony was actually supposed to be held at the university's main campus in Morningside Heights. And because of the security reasons with all the protesting, they decided it's better off that they move it here. And as you know, the main graduation ceremony also has been canceled. That's on May 15th. 15th. Uh, but let's take a look at the graduates, shall we? Uh, really proud moments for them. There are about 800 who graduated from the School of Professional Studies. Now, we are here at the Baker Athletics Complex, which is actually Columbia's soccer field in Inwood in the section of the Bronx. Now, this uh, school of professional studies includes master's degrees from places like negotiation and conflict resolution, narrative medicine, and bioethics. Now, Danny just talked about the weather being cold and raw, windy as well, about 20 degrees below average, but that did not cool off the excitement of the graduates. Take a listen. I think um, it's just unfortunate timing, you know. Like for our year, we started in the pandemic and then ended with a protest. But c'est la vie. A little sad, yeah, but I think this makes up for it. Yeah, just looking on the bright side. The fact that I'm going to work is fine, it doesn't matter where. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> the privilege to do this is very good for me. All right, so in total today, there will be four graduation ceremonies, three here, and then there will be another one at the Manhattanville campus. So for now, we're live here in the Inwood section of the Bronx, surrounded by several happy Columbia University graduates. Reagan Medji, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.